It's on. It works. That clip will be on the video. Right. Uh, find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals 3x squared times x plus 2 to the 6. At the point minus 1, 3. Give me your answer before y equals mx plus c. Um, a nice straightforward start. Clearly, when it says find the equation of the tangent, we know, because of our knowledge of maths and kind of stuff, that that means you're going to have to find dy by the x. So straight into finding dy by the x. And we're expected to recognise this as a product. We recognise this product. Our product says u dv by the x plus v du by the x. So that is the first times the derivative of the second. It's the van re reversing outside. <laughs> uh, plus u dv by the x, I've just already said that, v, v, u dv by the x plus v du by the x. So that would be x plus 2 to the 6 times the derivative of that, which would be 6x. And that's what we have. Some of you wrote it the other way around. That's fine. There it is. Um, now, the question said, find the tangent to the curve at the point minus 1, 3. I, I felt that I wanted to write that next. You know, when we did these, we did lots of work on simplifying this and writing it as a single term. You know, taking it x, 6x, and x plus 2 to the 5 <coughs> out of the factor and pulling all that together. That, that's... I'm out of shot, thanks. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but that's, that, we don't need to factorise it. There's no need to bring all of that together. All we need to do is to sub in minus 1. So if, <laughs> stop telling me to smile, Alfie. So if, you, <laughs> if we sub in x equals minus 1, divide by the x is 18 times minus 1 squared, minus 1 plus 2 to the 5, plus 6 times minus 1 times <coughs> minus 1 plus 2 to the 6. <laughs> Such a fake cough. And, uh, and there you've got the value of dy by the x. Um, what is this? 18 minus 6 is 12. So dy by the x is 12. It was find the equation of the curve that even gave you both x and y coordinates. So it's, it's all there. All we need to do now is y minus y1 is m x minus x1. Um, again, we have one or two people getting 12 and for some reason thinking, oh, it must be the normal. And doing minus 1 over 12 as the gradient. you have got to read the question really carefully. The equation of the tangent... The tangent is what we get from dy by the x. So it's 12 that we're using as our gradient. They wanted it in the form y equals mx plus c. That's 12x plus 12, isn't it? So y equals 12x plus 15. That's, that's it. That's it. That's our five marks. Um, you've got three marks for just getting as far as, as the gradient equals 12. That's what we're looking for. The last two were for putting it into the equation and doing that. There we are. And that's maths. Don't applaud. Wait, but stop. It went wobbly. <laughs>